it's really unfortunate the Craig Ferguson character that they put him on such a leash and kind of a <laughs> nationalistic kind of a leash, really, if you think about it. Obviously, he's Glaswegian. He's a Scotsman, and he has a fucking wonderful thick accent. Well, you can't really... And in this film, they made him have this baby posh voice that is fucking annoying. It's so unfortunate. Well, he could have been we... so much more powerful as who he is, where he's from, representing his heritage. But instead, they castrated well, him. The English well, castrated him once again, like William Wallace. <laughs> Mike, that would be a fair criticism. But if you dig into vampire folklore, um, the Scottish are uh, impervious to the vampire bite and cannot be turned into vampires. Then what was so, he doing as a goddamn vampire? Well, okay, it's called acting, Mike. He's an actor. What? And he is playing the role of a vampire. He's so he's not really a vampire. He's just imagining what being a vampire would be like. And then he does that in front of the cameras. Now, Paul said this is real. He said he's been to that club before in L.A. He lives in L.A. He would know. <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys go for a little while so I could get some good material for Cut for Time on B-Movie Mania. 